camera or something? We just dropped off Alithia at the vet to get spayed. It was so sad. Oh my god. So we got our weight. She weighs 49 pounds around. She didn't really want to stay still, but it was around 49 pounds. Um, what else? And then they just put a blanket inside of the cage for her and we put her in and we left. It was sad. And the guy said that we could pick her up in two to three hours and that they'll give us a call when she's done. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna hang out at Walmart or something while we wait. Um, Alithia was actually really good. It was her first hour drive. We had to drive, well, like 45 minutes an hour, right? To get here. So we had to drive like 45 minutes an hour. And she was pretty alright. There was some moments where she went in my face and like barked, but I don't know. She was okay. And yeah, I'll continue recording when we pick her up from the vet. So we just picked up Alithia's poor girl. She has like blood on her leg and stuff. They told us two to three hours and we had to wait five hours. She was waiting in the vet in the cage for like a good four hours bef before they took her. And I'm kind of upset about that because we could have like walked around with her and stuff. And she ended up peeing herself. So she's kind of wet, but her spay is done and we got some, hi my girl. Hi my girl, you, you okay? You okay? Um, we, they gave us some, a couple painkillers for free, which I'm kind of surprised because they said that they charged ten dollars for them. But um, yeah, um, the instructions are if she's feeling iffy tonight around seven, right? To give her one, and it's one once a day, and to give her a little bit of water when we get home. Is that it? And yeah, and half the food. And no rough playing or jumping on furniture for at least four days. And to keep her calm. And she has to be in a cone for 10 days, which is longer than like it. So I'm glad they gave us a cone too. Actually, she has blood on her leg. Let's see if I could get her incision. just got home and Alithia is literally just laying here. She doesn't want to get up. <laughs> but um, she got to hear if she's just going to stay calm. Like is. And like is being okay. But I got to keep an eye on him obviously. Or he's trying to go into my groceries. Mm. My poor guy. She's so drugged up. <laughs> right, so like is is eating. He knows that there's something different about his sister though. So he's kind of taking his time. He's wondering why, he's, why she's not eating with him. And I let her out of the crate and all she wants to do is lay right there. She literally just took a few steps out and laid flat down. She didn't want to go outside. She doesn't want to eat. She, you could tell she's a little thirsty, but she doesn't want to drink out of the bowl. So I just wet my hands a little bit and like put it in front of her tongue so she could wet her mouth a little bit. But um, that's about it. She probably won't be eating or drinking very much until the morning. Right, so Olivia, like I leave her alone. Alithia vomited a couple times randomly, um, so I cleaned that up, and then right, like a couple minutes after she vomited, what is that? Like it's, you missed a piece of puppy kibble. After she vomited, she walked up to the water bowl, and there was like a teeny little bit of water, like literally like less than this in the bowl, and she drank a little bit, like a couple mouthfuls, and she hasn't thrown up since then, so hopefully she can keep it down. It's a good sign if she could keep it down. And their poor tummy's all sensitive, probably from the painkillers. Thank you for eating your dog food that you missed, boy. My poor girl is all depressed and stuff. I want to look at her incision so I know how it looks like. when, Because you have to check it every day. And I think I'll show you guys if I could get her to show it to me. Like his move. You want to turn around, Michael? So she just turned around. This is how it looks like. Hi. Hi. You want to tummy rub right here? I want to rub where your stitches are. Maybe a little bit itchy, but I don't think it's at the itchy stage yet. Maybe just sore. Uh, so, this is Alithia. 
She just randomly started staring at the ground because we put the comb back on. I oh, never mind, because it's a bug. Where are all these bugs coming from? <laughs> Don't eat the bug. Don't stare at the bug either. Come on, get distracted. <laughs> she's kind of upset because we put the cone on, but she's doing a lot better than she was doing yesterday. She peed and pooped. She didn't poop yesterday after her surgery. Like it's just eating the bug now. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> I forgot to mention, if you guys are wondering, the puppies are currently seven months old, I think on the day today. Um, so let they get spayed at... at uh, Lizzie got spayed at seven months old and like his got neutered at five months old. But um yeah she's doing better today. This is the well no like hour like that hasn't even been twenty four hours yet, so Alright, so this is day two of Lithia's Bay. <laughs> like it's move your head out of the way. Oh you guys cuddling. Um she got spayed on Tuesday around three o'clock and it is now Thursday around two or three o'clock again. So it's been like full two days. Um, the first 28, 24 hours were kind of difficult to get throwing up, but now she's basically back to herself, which is kind of aggravating because she's acting like she can't feel the incisions or the stitches or anything. So she's trying to jump up on stuff, trying to play rough. All that right now she's just laying down she doesn't look like she does that but she definitely does that um I like kiss but um yes yeah, her incision still looks good um a lot of swelling did go down um uh, we've been leaving her crated most of the day so she doesn't get too excited because again she's trying to jump around like a crazy doggy let me see if I could show you her stitches like this is getting excited Okay. No, 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 no. Lay down. Flip over. I'll give you belly rub. I'll give you belly rub. Flip over. Those are her stitches. As you can see, it looks a lot better. Oh, ah, I like guess. It. <laughs> it looks a lot better. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you hear that attitude? <laughs> Alright, so this is still day three. She's still really excited and all that stuff. Obviously, sorry, my washing machine is clicked in. Um, but her incision is getting itchy. She keeps trying to get to it to itch it and stuff. But obviously, she can't because of her con. But um, yeah, I think she's healing really quickly compared to a lot of dogs. Probably because she's still a puppy. Hey everyone, so today is Saturday, day four of Alithia's recovery. This morning, we woke up and it was kind of brutal because... What happened is she somehow got her cone off. I like it. She somehow got her cone off inside of her crate and she licked her incision and stuff, so it's all irritated. Um, she also chewed half of her cone off, so stop biting each other's butts. So, <coughs> like this. Alright, but um, yeah, this is like it's this old cone it's a little bit. I'm talking. <coughs> It's a little bit smaller than her other one, but she still can't reach her incisions, which is a great thing. And I also tied it to her harness. Stop. I also tied it to her harness so she can't take it off. There, camera's on you. Is that what you want? <laughs> like this. Get down. So this is her incision. As you can see, it's all red and irritated now. Um... So yeah, I'm not very happy that she did that. You crazy girl. You you crazy. Mama's not morning person. You go and do that in the morning. So um yeah, this is her little setup. This is like this is old cone. It's a little bit smaller than Alithia's was. I tied it around her collar, and she still slipped it off with the collar. So I tied up her collar to her harness, which she can't just slip off. So this is how it is for day four. Alright, today is day six. I did not film day five because she was doing the same thing as right as normal. Um, I mean as day four and stuff. Um, today she's also doing the same. She's like back to herself. I'm just gonna just check out the stitches. Um, she has four more days left with her cone on, which is awesome. All right, this is her stitches on day <laughs> six. It's healing really well. Ah, don't kick me. 
Don't kick me. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you do it again? <laughs> <laughs> Alright everyone, today is Tuesday. Lithia has been spayed for seven days now. She has three more days in the cone. But I think I will end this right now. She is doing really well, healing very well. Um, I showed you guys her stitches yesterday. They look about the same today. And I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about spaying or neutering your pets, let me know down below because we did spay and neuter both of our puppies over here. And yeah, thank you guys all for watching.